starts up front with Hokata, Kotze, and Steves. They've got to provide stability uh, in the set piece, and that's going to allow Gomez Vara and the other back, the forwards here to get over the game line, get front football so they can unleash their backs. Uh, Elias at 10 is going to be really, really important. He's got powerful centers in Kubia and Richardson. If they can get over the game line continuously, that's going to make life a lot easier. And then in defense, they've got to bring that line speed. Coming off the bench, uh, the likes of Fuala Al and uh, Richardson. Uh, and then head coach is Agustin Cavalieri. Now we turn our attention to the visitors and the Wafed starting lineups here for the Seawolves. What do you see today? Yeah, I think in the second row, Herbst and Drosty are going to be really, really important. They've got to get around the field, provide really clean ball in the breakdown. And then Rico Hatting is a handful with ball in hand. And Seattle look to him to create some opportunities. Seattle got some really powerful ball runners in the backs. Tony Pulu, Dan Creel, uh, and Tavite Lopet Lopetti. He's been injured for a bit, but back. And they run rampant with ball in hand and get really good go forward. Coming off the bench, you've got Chance Wengluski, Oli Khalifi, two powerful front rowers, and then Sam Windsor scored so many points in the MLR. Uh, and coming off the bench, he'll provide some calmness when the game is in hand. Alan Clark is the head coach. Yeah, I really hope so. So many cracking matches. I mean, it's absolutely incredible how many MLR matches go right down to the end and how many one-point games we've had. So both teams motivated, and hopefully we get another really good one. MLR's leading scorer, and Mac Mason kicks from the halfway line. And here's Dallas. Now a physical tackle from Seattle. Inside the five and getting closer here. Lucas Bohr had the handle. Pass to the outside, Elias. Outside channel, it's a walk-in try. It's Nicholas Penn. He'll dot it down for five. Gobia worked to the outside for Ben. Got some speed, but three tacklers are on him. And a heartbeat. Gobia gets it back. Here's the sprint. Looks for an outside channel. Pass, beautifully done. Ah, oh, the charge up pitch. Torres, channel shows us speed, Madison, for the cash in. Dallas able to work through the numbers really well, the cutout pass, and then, yeah, nice little slip around the blind side. You see Seattle didn't get their numbers right around the breakdown. No one folded through to be that pillar on the blind side. Uh, Dallas exploit that and go over in the corner. And yeah, a little blind pass here. He knew where his man was. And he does so, Nothing so well to hold obvious. on to it. Stick with your on-field decision. Go in and extend Dallas's lead. And they've really had the better of these first 25 minutes of the game. Coming out of the water break. <laughs> That's the word from Andrew Cole, our referee tonight at Arlington. Not one, but two tries late in the first half. Madison are wiped off the board. That one for the forward pass. What an effort from Coates, uh, but Milano's unable to cash in because the pass illegal. Take them. Um, and yes, Seattle identified stopping the driving mall as a key area. They've been able to do that so far. Dallas haven't really got too much out of that. Um, but they just need to sharpen it up when they're in the uh, Dallas red zone. Gilios the kick. A few phases here. Kobia got hit up high, and there's a penalty call. Oh, yeah, that's a hit to the head. Oh, so that, that might be a second look. Stay here for me, okay? Okay, it's a high tackle, it's not a high degree of dangerous for Seattle. Careful, yep, yep, Timo's checking. Yep. Oh, and costly for Seattle. Has the handle, Seattle is playing with advantage, remember, no, and there's a the whistle, there, and we'll get clarification here from the referee. Yeah, and I think potentially, yes, going to his card here, Two. cynical penalties repeatedly within five oh, meters, like seven meters of the line. Speedster up pitch, Boy. scoring in New Orleans a week ago. Devastating loss for the Seawolves, up 24-10 at halftime, but couldn't finish. Scrum collapses. A little scrum penalty call from our referee, Andrew Cole. Dallas trying to stay on side, and a push and a shove there from Elias, the fly half, and here comes a yellow card. Yeah, and I think Elias, that's two cynical infringements in a row. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, and it's yet another yellow card, so for the next three and a half minutes, Worked up pitch. Number nine and Smith trying to create to the outside channel. It's Mason. Mason, a good pass. Gets the inside feed. Getting closer for Creel. Sprint in Russo. Seattle finally have their breakthrough. Some really nice offloads in and out of contact here. Back on the inside. 
Nice offload off the ground, and Russo goes in for the try. And Dallas, after they survived all that time with 13 men, it's as soon as they get back up to 14, have some subs come on the field. And there was a lot of space in those wide channels. That as we check the Lockheed Martin player of the match watch. Ramos Vara, Elias, Creel. Top three right now. Dallas again, doing a great job. Remember, it's the yellow line. J.P. Smith had that knock from behind. Penalty is called. That's against Dallas. Oh, and he's going to the card again. Dallas. Trying to put this one away. Kicked out to the back. To end the match. Dallas has done it. Elias finishes the match on the try line. Defense, the name of the game tonight. And look at the celebration for the Dallas coaches.